They may say that what we currently have is a battle rifle, but that is not really true. What I have made this FNFAL into is nothing short than an infantry automatic rifle. The reason, the reason I say that is because I've given it uh, all the trademarks of an automatic rifle. Meaning it has uh, an extended magazine, it has uh, a bipod, and it fires 7.62 in a continuous stream that will be bad for anyone who actually encounters it. It also is pretty much meant to be used in a prone or supported position. Hopefully we are not visible. Tango down. We're switching to automatic fire. It's an automatic rifle after all. As far as I know, there was actually a gun like this made by the FNFAL uh, in a support configuration. But basically, it's a FNFAL version of the BAR. So... I don't know if we got him. I don't think we did. But we need to reload soon enough. Yeah, that mag is almost empty. Reload. The problem with using the weapon in this configuration is how much ammunition it actually eats. Short, controlled bursts is essential. But uh, you can't say it, it's not really an accurate weapon because it's a very accurate weapon. Uh, but I think I'll switch back to semi-automatic, uh, partially because fully automatic is overkill and if we keep using fully automatic then I think we are going to be in a lot of trouble. The problem is that I think we're also very exposed here. Enemies popping smoke. Ah, we need to fall out and fall back and defend. We, lo we lost this place. Do I have a sidearm? No, I have a grenade. We need a commander. Uh, a grenade is not a sidearm. Let's change magazine because the enemy is going to start moving up any second now. The problem is that I don't see it. Yeah, we're falling back. We need to fall back faster before the enemy decides they want to take pot shots at us. All right, we're at Bravo. We're setting up. Let's keep an eye on that window. I just assumed the enemy is, might come this way, but um, it's not. Relocate. That's the last full mag over there. That is really not fair. As far as I'm concerned, that guy should have at least one 762 in his gut. But we got away with a lot in this round, so I'm actually going to just roll with it. I am, however, going to switch to the breacher loadout because I expect a lot of close quarters combat and point B. For the breacher configuration, we actually have a bastardized version of the UZ. So it's going to be easier to use in close quarters. What? I mean, we have a red dot sight, we have a foregrip, we have hey, hey, hey. When did the go? flash grenades, tango down. Right. 
At any rate, this kit is unlike the other one. You this I want to point out that while I died, that guy took a 9 mil to the face. Why he didn't die because of it is beyond me, but... I don't have a problem actually getting shot if only the enemy abide by the same rules that I do. And in that case it was... I mean... Never mind. Let's just get on it. I'm not gonna say anything about that one because there they had range on me. Superior range and probably better weapon swords too. The UC is not really a long range weapon by any stretch of the imagination. So reinforcements are deploying in 22 seconds. Lots of smoke coming from the security forces. Get fired, Janet! I don't know if we can sneak up on the enemy this way, but we can sure as hell try. I think this is going to end with my death rather than anyone else. Fall back. We've done our damage for today. Okay, enemy at B. I've actually scored pretty high on the score list at least, so I can't play say anything about that one. Probably most of our kills got us a bonus for actually defending the objective, because as far as I know, while the game keeps score in stuff like kill death ratio, the kill death ratio is usually very depressing to, depressing to look at. Um, the game actually makes a point of scoring is simply go, go, based go, go. on playing the objective. Let's stay quiet. I have to say that's at least three shots in the chest area, so we, we're gonna switch guns here. Uh, I think actually we're gonna switch back to our highly lethal IAR build, because at least then I got kills. And uh, with the Uzi it seems like I need to put down excessive rounds on targets just to just to get stuff done, and I don't want to do that. Instead, with the FNFAL IAR, I can just set up a strong position and hold it. And that is frankly the superior way of doing things. I love the fact that the Aedidas uh, despite clothing is so popular amongst uh, the rebels. I actually went for a different approach where where my outfit is more based on 
a mercenary outfit with uh, basically a flannel shirt and jeans. I kind of like that outfit. I don't know if they can outflank us, but it's safe to assume they can, but so far they haven't actually done so. Victory! We got 100 points. I suppose it's going to be our time to engage now. I am kinda... yeah, we're gonna be attackers. So we're going to pick a sniper scope and we're going to pick a bipod. And uh, light carrier, yeah, no explosives. We're going to start up with uh, this thing and Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, here we go. We're going to try and snipe as many of the enemy as possible. Automatic mode on. Nice. Where the hell is the commander? We don't even have a commander. You can't fight the Islamic State without a commander. There's a machine gun right over there. Machine gun that's southeast. Got him. This thing has a very light trigger. I mean, feather light trigger. So we're gonna keep our eyes on the street here. Going to keep it covered. Make sure no one else tries a run out like that. If they do try a run out, it's... Clear so far. Our guys need to be moving in there. Okay, I have the guy. Street is clear. Move across the street. I got you covered. Street is clear. Move on. This is why I stay here. This is why I keep the streets safe. Because if... Reloading marksmanship rifle and moving up to support our troops. Upside. Get oh crap! So much for Alpha secured, right? I actually thought we had plenty of troops in there. And uh, turned out we didn't, which is kind of embarrassing, but uh, I just wish people in this game would be far superior at sh shouting out where the enemy is, but so far it doesn't seem, the game doesn't seem to have a culture of doing that yet, which is kind of a really a butt in the fuck. Oh fuck you up. 
Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. We let this guy die for us. He'll take the bullet. Uh, one of my mates want to play co-op, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... Finish off the MP round first. I don't want to end it while it's actually going rather well. Take cover. Go away. Did you see you him? You are making too much. What? Did you see where he is? Uh, yeah. Uh, right down the street, just across the street, or yeah, Copy on that. the other side. He's gone. Okay. I got it covered. Yeah. Thank Moving out. Moving, I got you. Let's move in. Switching to sidearm. Or not. Smoke it. Tango, no feast, no feast. Okay, so this is a restricted area. We can't enter it. Keep it clear. Ah, we're hit. 